Pani Przewodnicząca. Tu... Madam Commissioner, Madam President, briefly after the beginning of the uh, Championship Qatar, football is not number one as issue. Although this should be the reason for a big holiday for sport, we all know that organization of this championship has to do with high costs and it has been broadly criticized, particularly when it comes to human rights or labor rights. Thousands of workers who built the stadiums lost lives so that the Mundial were to be successful. We are very saddened by that. One should say, though, that there, are, there is some progress on liberalization reforms in the labor market. This has already happened. As it was rightly said by the Commissioner, the Kafalin system has been done away with, which is also confirmed by the latest ILO report. We are happy with that, but we need guarantees so that the efforts be continued in Qatar also after the championship comes to an end. Human rights are universal and they have to be enforced everywhere. That's why in 2017 FIFA introduced new requirements on considering human rights when they were awarding the next uh, hosting rights according to UN requirements and they were implemented for the first time in 2026 and those are the championships in to be held in USA, Canada and Mexico. As a former professional footballer and the president of the sport uh, intergroup in Parliament, I hope that the world of sport and the world of politics will both draw conclusions from this event and the next events will be held w with human rights being respected fully. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.